Hey everybody, uh, just before I start this video, I want to just let you know that uh, I'll be posting two of these uh, every day until they're done. So I'll, like a part, I'll post part one in the morning and part two in the afternoon. So I'll let you guys know about that beforehand. Again, enjoy the video. Hey everybody, welcome back to Retard TV. And today I'm going to start doing a kind of like a... And a small mini series about how I build. Uh, <clears throat> grab this one right here. How I build these right here. How I build these cars. What all goes into these cars? Well, so I'm gonna try to make it a couple parts. So it's gonna be a small mini series. But this is gonna be part one. So before I get started. Bring this up just a bit. That's right. Move all this stuff out of the way. I did try to do a small experiment right here. For building a, uh, a dirt track big car. I was going to be running in more of the evil instructions I'm going to be doing. But it turned out right, uh, as good as I wish it did, so I'm not going to run it. I'm not going to finish it. But I might give it to my brother. My little brother. Maybe he wants to finish it and uh, build it up to his own car. So, uh, I got a couple of things I want to get uh, out of the way first. So, how I do my cars. I use baggies like this. I use little uh, trace out part things exactly like this. Nice uh, imperial. I got quite a few bags. I only got four bags, sacks empty. I don't know why I said it's quite a few. But I got a, a wagon. I got a wagon. I got a wagon. Uh, got this one. I got a truck. Maybe we got a truck. There's a truck in here. Uh, I got two variants of the uh, Imperial. I got the one with the front end right here going straight down. And I got the other one that has a variant of it going across like that. Let's get these two next to each other. See? Straight down, across. So this is what I'm going to be using to build these uh, next couple of cars. So I'm going to be building, but I'm only going to show you one. Uh, I think we're going to start with the... I think we are going to start... With this one right here. So before I got uh, this video going, I did get some uh, metal all nice and straightened out. And uh, built real quick. I'm going to show you what exactly what it used to look like before. So it used to look like this. Right here. Nice big old metal pan. These parts right here. Are from the side. Right here. But they're all smoothed out. Uh, these pieces right here. Will be used to trace. This. Right here. Wait, let me bend this down. This. Trace this on the this. Metal. Which will come out as the piece right here. Pe that piece right there. So I'll watch you. I'll come back as soon as it's all traced out. There we go. All traced out. So we want to complete. Uh, do this uh, step twice onto another sheet. But when you're doing this, you want to leave some. Uh, Sorry, but uh, you want to leave some uh, space at the top, in the front, and in the back. Because when you build your cars, you want some you want some metal to overlap. So that helps the hot glue stick better onto your cars. 
Let me see if I turn this car around real quick. See that overlap right here? That one, there's a bit of damage, but that overlap right here is on both sides. You want overlapping happening. Because that helps your uh, metal stick more. You're still going to have problems, but you're going to have much less of a problem if you do that. If you don't, your car will be braking much more faster. So, thanks for watching everyone for part one. Uh, I'm going to finish up tracing out this one. And I'm going to go into cutting them out, gluing them, gluing them to the floor. To this, the floor. And building up the back for part two. Thanks for watching everybody. See you all guys next time.